Yo, this is the Tunnel Place Pokemon Violet. Now, 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 we are closing in on objectives. We have beaten the Gym Leader here at Alphornada. We have four more objectives to do. We have two Team Star bases here and here. We also have a Titan here and we have a Gym here. So all of the remaining areas are not very far from each other. But then you might ask, which one should you go first? Should we go for Team Star first, maybe, so that we have one each left? Well, you would think that. However, when it comes to the um, when it comes to the actual uh, sort of like um, levels of the Pokemon you're gonna face, Grusha of this place here. He is the only of the remaining objectives that doesn't have Pokemon in the 50s. Grusha, here, the Shub Zero Shredder, has Pokemon near the 50s. Then you have a Titan here. You have a Team Star up here. Of Ortega. And finally, you have Eri. Eri and Ortega's Pokemon are both in the uh, lower to mid 50s. Same with this Titan here as well, which is around 52, 53. Grusha's in the 48, 49 level. So yeah, I understand why they would do that, but it doesn't really matter. So because of that, we're going to go up to Glacido Mountain once more. So we're going to do a little bit of exploration on the Glacido Mountain this episode, and then we're going to head to to up here to fight Grusha. Then we got an all the batches. Before we go to Elite 4, which is here, we're going to do the remaining objectives and see how they all pay off in the end. And then we will take it from there. Now we have two ways to get to Grusha, who is here. We can either go all the way back from Sapa Pico. And then we can then head north and then head up around here to go up to the mountains. We can also go through this D Dalisava Passage Cave. We will find the path upwards to the mountain as well. Or we can just go to Montenevera and then head south and go around to get to to, to here. I'm going to go the other way around. I'm going to go to Dalizapa Passage. This is the place we went to when we went between Sapa Pico and Medley for uh, to go to the to the fifth gym. I think this is the best way to go. Have you beaten up trainers here, by the way? With bitten zero, bitten four. Oh, that's enough. You get expert belt, which is nice because it causes your super effective damage moves to do a bit more damage. So it's a very good item to hold. All right. So to get to Glacier Mountain, we can, for example, go up here. It's even a sign here. Give me gold coin to Glacier Mountain path. Okay, good. We're still in the cave area here, but you can see it goes more upwards. That's exactly where you want to go. It does snow here a bit, and yeah, Grusha is the final type uh, gym leader. Grusha's Pokemon typing is Ice. So Ice is a bit easier to fight because it has a lot of weaknesses and has only one resistance, which is itself. Hey there, want me to take you uh, the best thing about the snowy peaks? Sure. The problem with Ice though is that it is very strong as an offensive type. It's one of the best offensive types in the game. One of the worst offensive types in the game. Yes, Gastrodon. Gastrodon dual type water and ground. It's only level 39 though, but be careful. Organical is weak to water. So we probably should switch out. Bramble Gas is the best here. Bramble Gas is, do is Grass and Ghost, and the uh, Gastrodon is four times weak to Grass. Earth Power, which is a strong special attack ground move. Doesn't do much damage against Bramble Gas because Bramble Gas is resistant to ground as a Grass type. Let's go and actually just Giga Drain. Heal him a bit. We are the super special attacker with uh, Bramble Gas, but. It's so weak, Gashadon, so we can KO it even with, with that. 
down it goes. Next is another Gastrodon, let's just stick with it. But this Gastrodon, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah! It's the same Pokémon, but it's a different coloring. So Gastrodon in Generation 4 in Sinnoh region, it had two colors. It was a pink and brown color, and then you see it had the blue and green color. The, if I remember, I'm surprised I remember, the pink and brown color is the western region Gastrodon, while the blue and green color is the eastern region Gastrodon. So depending on which, which, which area we're in the Sinnoh region, uh, the Gastrodon, or even Shellos, the pre-evolution form, was based upon where you fought them and find them. You're strong, that's for sure. Yeah, but your Pokemon were a bit low though. We're only in the high 30s, that's a bit too low for me now. I need to be in the high 40s. Yeah, we have a bit of a cave. This probably should lead us to the mountain path area. We have, sh we have Sable Eyes here as well. Another cool looking Pokemon. What is this? This is like a black area? A wall? Oh wow! I didn't see that one coming. We didn't, we were so dark, I didn't even see what it was there. Oh well, at least we got up the next defense. That was actually pretty cool. We got Snorrens here as well. Let's go here and glide to get that TM over here. Confused Ray. Oh yeah, Confused Ray is one of the most effective uh, moves when it comes to confusion. It is a perfect accuracy move, so unless you have a uh, accuracy reduction used on you, it cannot miss, and it's a perfect way to cause confusion. And it's usually often used by ghost type Pokemon. An ether, a very good item. Oh, fall down again. Yeah, this area is a bit more hard to go through. Maybe it's because we're riding on Maridon, and Maridon goes a bit too fast. I don't think I'm just going to skip, because we won't, won't be able to get up again. Let's see, here we have... Hyper Potion times 3. That's pretty good. There's an Hariyama. Let's just skip that. Dunsparce and Sableye. Here's a Pokémon with a Terra-type. Maybe we should try that one. We haven't really tried one of those Pokémon in a long time. we got a Greward as well. It's a Lucario! Oh, I want to try Lucario. This one might be powerful. Let's try it. Lucario, I want to fight you. What kind of terror type are you even? Lucario. Terror typing is... Ice! Ice, ice, baby! Interesting. So Lucario is no longer a fighting and steel dual type. Now this is a ice type Lucario. It's level 75?! Oh boy, we are so screwed. Let's try, but we I think that Lucario can just one-hit us with anything. He's so high level. Oh boy, level 75. That one's gonna be KO. Bye-bye. No chance. Meteor Mash is even super effective because it's a very powerful steel move. Let's run. Yeah, I'm not gonna try that. Lucario, you can... Uh, you, I, I'll leave you in peace, Lucario. Please don't kill me. Please don't eat me. I don't taste good. So we can't get this team here, I think, because it's too high up. Oh, we can. Good. Power Gem. So Power Gem is a very good move. It's a uh, rock-type special attack. And I think it also has a perfect accuracy. Like it has, uh, It's like Swift, so you can never miss. It's a very good move, but it's a special attack. So it's a very good move for non-rock type Pokemon to have to counter against Pokemon that are weak to rock but have high defense. It's a very good move. I generally like to put it on non-rock type Pokemon to use it as a counter to other types. Here's the thing about Paldea. What's the thing? Teach me. Paldea has all sorts of different climates, depending on where you go. Well, explain, please. 
Triana the student. And her Pokemon of choice is Gotharita. Gotharita, we already know from uh, the uh, Alpha Island Gym, this is a pure psychic type. So, just hit whatever you want. Psych up. Which means any stat changes that I have taken will not be given to Gotharita, but I have done nothing, so that move was basically useless. We'll do it again. Again, doesn't really matter because I haven't had any stat changes at all, so we have no stat changes for Gotharita either. But I don't care. You can do whatever you want. I'll just uh, be happy about it. Easy win. Now I'm using Organic a bit here because it's a pretty good Pokemon to use in the next gym. We have a lot of Pokemon that are very effective. For example, against Skeledurge, now because of Fire type, and they also have a Fire Terra type as well, which also makes it very good. Let's see where we are now. We're still in this cave area here. Some items here. We have some. Mo we can go north or west. I'm thinking because of the directions, we should probably go north instead of south. Also, we can see that the uh, elevation is favorable to go uh, up here. See, there seems to be like a lot of light, maybe snow. Can't really see much. Ah, we are back here again. Okay, so that was a detour. So I guess the thing about falling down made us go a little detour, but that's fine. At least we now know that, yeah, I thought maybe it was just like a wall, but it was not. It was actually a... Uh, I won't call it a trap, but it was basically, yeah, a hole in the wall. So if you see a hole in the walls, you won't go through them unless you really want to see where it goes. Let's go around from here. And now we can see it start to get a bit more white colored and bright. Probably signifying that we are closing into the winter areas. Let's just keep going up here. Grabbing these items as we go. Full heals, potions, etc, etc. More trainers you can fight if you feel like it. I feel like we should be fine for now. Ether. Glacida Mountains. Now we're outside. Alright, so now we are on the Glacida Mountain Path. Let's see if we can find the areas to go to the gym location. What is art? I don't know, you tell me. We're gonna see crab brawlers here, we see Citadels. Yeah, all these Pokemon we saw be before as well when we came from Mount Nevera are also here. Let's go up here. A timer ball. That's nice. And what did we run into? Ah. Oh. Hello there, little Cupchu. Unfortunately, I don't have time for you, Cupchu. Cupchu, Cupchu, I don't have time for you. Poor little Cupchu, don't cry for me, for you. Bring up these little snow hill at least, so. Let's see what we can find. I see Bronze Song here as well, which is not an ice type, it's a steel type, so I guess it's. Uh, Built for the cold, I guess. Built to resist the cold, perhaps more accurate way of saying it. Should get more items here. And there's the bronzong. Quite off guard though. That means we can get to fight it, but not gonna fight bronzong. Not good if I Bronzong with uh, Garganical anyways, because Garganical is weak to steel. And Bronzong is very tanky. It's very hard to deal damage to Bronzong, it's so tanky. It's also dual type steel and uh, psychic. So it has very few weaknesses. It has some, but not too much. Up on top here, we can see that it has a bit more view here. All these snow runs here as well, the sea toddles. A beautiful area here, this is where... this is Lavincia. 
This is the area east. This is the run the area where we can get to fight the uh, Team Star battle we're gonna do later on. I guess we can do one trainer battle before we go on. You ought to be careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Another dragon tamer. A dragon tamer up in the mountains? Um, crazy or what? I mean, dragons hate ice, and you're now having dragons in the icy areas. I wouldn't call that suicide. I mean, dragon area list, dual type, dragon, and flying, so that's good for us. Because uh, flying types are weak to rock. Come slam, it's going to miss because it's low accuracy move. Or not low, but lower, I guess we'll call it. One hit KO on Dragonair, it's gonna go down. Oh yeah, Dragonair is not a flying type. Oh yeah, play was. Doesn't matter though, we got the win. I suppose none of the other trainers were as strong as you. Mm, perhaps. Or perhaps not, I don't know. Anyway, we have arrived, here we are. Now, unlike the other gyms we went to before, this is not a gym at the town. This is just a gym at a specific, specific region, I guess you call it. So, next episode, we're going to go inside of the area here. We're going to fight against Grusha. Find out what trial, of course, he has. He probably has a trial. Then we're going to battle up against Grusha and see what he, he will do. And then, after we got the old eight badges, we'll see what we're going to do from there. Things are about to become quite... Interesting, for sure. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's complete for now as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.